Thank you for watching this video. How to buy a small business with no money down. It offers insightful and proven strategies that have enabled investors and entrepreneurs to acquire businesses with no money down. We invite you to watch the whole video to get a complete perspective on the strategies we are about to discuss. Before getting started, we wish to invite you to subscribe to our channel, Successful Businesses, and to click on the bell so that you are automatically notified when we upload new videos, made especially for entrepreneurs and business owners like you. We also invite you to like, share, and comment on this video. Now let's get started with the discussion on how to buy a small business with no money down. Embarking on the path to business ownership is a significant step for aspiring entrepreneurs. The traditional view that a substantial initial investment is needed to purchase a business often deters many from pursuing their entrepreneurial dreams. However, various strategies can facilitate the acquisition of a small business with minimal or no upfront cash, making the seemingly impossible quite attainable. So let us proceed and explore the concept of no money down acquisitions. Buying a business with no money down is fundamentally about leveraging creative financing solutions rather than not investing any capital at all. It involves structuring the purchase deal in such a way that minimizes immediate financial outlay, utilizing alternative assets such as experience, existing business relationships, or innovative financial instruments. Strategy number one is an in-depth look at seller financing. Seller financing is a pivotal strategy for entrepreneurs without substantial liquid assets. It involves the business seller acting as the creditor with payments made to them over an agreed period instead of to a bank. Let's consider a case study. Consider a scenario where an entrepreneur, keen on acquiring a local coffee shop, lacks the upfront capital. The shop's owner, looking to retire, might be interested in ensuring the business's continued success and agree to finance the sale. The buyer could negotiate a deal to pay 10% of the revenue monthly until the agreed price is fully paid, thus aligning ongoing business success with the seller's financial return. Benefits of this method. This method not only facilitates the acquisition without initial capital, but also motivates the seller to support the buyer during the transition period, ensuring a smoother handover and ongoing success. Now let's look at strategy number two, asset-based strategies. Utilizing personal or business assets to secure a loan or finance a purchase can bridge the gap between desire and acquisition. Here is a real-world example. An aspiring business owner might use owned real estate as collateral for a bank loan. The loan amount, based on the property's value, could finance the purchase of a small consulting firm. The key here is ensuring the business's cash flow can meet loan repayments, which requires diligent financial analysis. Strategy number three, earnouts as a financing solution. Earnouts are particularly useful in aligning the interests of the buyer and seller post acquisition and easing the initial financial burden. Let's consider an example. Imagine purchasing a small software development company. The agreement could include an earnout provision where additional payments are made as the company reaches certain development milestones or revenue targets, thus spreading the financial burden over several years based on actual performance. Now, let us examine strategy number four, exploring joint ventures and partnerships. Creating a joint venture or entering a partnership can provide access to additional resources and capital. Here is an example of this strategy. Two investors might combine forces to acquire a boutique marketing firm. One might have extensive industry experience while the other provides the majority of the required capital, minimizing individual risk and leveraging each partner's strengths. Strategy number five refers to government programs and incentives. Government grants and loans can provide critical funding for those looking to purchase a business. Government support is available for those considering this strategy. In the U.S., programs like the Small Business Administration 7A loan program offer up to $5 million in financing, which can be used for purchasing a business. These loans are backed by the government and designed to provide easier access to capital with lower down payments and extended repayment terms. Strategy number six is up next, and it refers to bootstrapping and microacquisitions. For those starting with very little microacquisitions, buying very small businesses or startups can be an effective stepping stone. Here is how to proceed with this strategy. Start by acquiring a small, manageable business that doesn't require a large upfront investment. 
use profits to reinvest and gradually buy larger businesses. This gradual approach can build a business portfolio without needing large amounts of capital at any one step. Let's consider some general observation and conclusions. The journey to acquiring a business with no money down is fraught with challenges, but also ripe with opportunities. By leveraging seller financing, assets, earnouts, partnerships, and government resources, prospective business owners can overcome financial barriers. This approach requires diligence, creativity in financing, and a commitment to ongoing business success. With the right strategies and a clear understanding of financial mechanisms, acquiring a business with minimal upfront investment is not only possible, but can also be a prudent entrepreneurial strategy. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that it has proven useful and informative in your venture to acquire a business. We invite you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive updates on forthcoming informative videos designed for inquisitive professionals like you. We also invite you to like, comment, and share this video. To your success!